Hello, monsters about here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 17 of my Scarstick campaign. Isn't this a f such a pretty game, isn't it? It's just such a... Look, I mean, just it's just gorgeous. Oh, it just brings the Warhammer... It's the best thing about the game is it brings the Warhammer world to life in, in a way that nothing ever has before. I... I... As, look, as, as buggy as Immortal Empires is, as bullshit as their pricing structure is, I would say that if you, if you loved Warhammer, or loved the idea of Warhammer, and you wanted to play that on, on a computer, this is the best way to do it. I think because I, rev I reviewed Warhammer 3 in Steam, and basically I said... <laughs> It's buggy as shit, but would I recommend this? Yes, I would. I would always recommend it. I would say, look, it's buggy, but it's fucking great, despite that, right? In spite of the bugs, in spite of the fact that Creative Assembly are not supporting the game as much as they should do, it's still fucking great, all right? You will still have a great time until you've put, like, 3,000 hours in, and then all the little niggles will slowly claw at your soul. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do I need my soul that badly? Nah, it's fine. Fuck it. It's fine. Don't need it. It's, fine. it's already tarnished as it is. Um, right, so we got Thoric in the south. Hello. Don't be a wasak. <laughs> well, mate. It's a habit of a lifetime. I'm not going to change now, am I? Uh, we're making big money down there. Dralg. I'm going to bring you up here. Am I going to bring her up here? Oh, I guess I am. Yeah. And we're trying to make friends with Chaos as we've dropped the big fatty. This this road is this road is both weirdly straight, but it was obviously whoever designed the road was drunk. This this is there's there's obviously like a pub down here somewhere because that's um that's it's a very straight avenue there, but it's a, it's a very wiggly line. Um. I'm assuming that maybe the angle they did this, they didn't have a road. I'm, ass like, I'm assuming this is like using the same road. Start, is it? Let's try to match the. I'm, I'm assuming it, it, that they've got like a set doodad, which is road, and they put it together. And it just so happened they didn't have anything heading in this way that was straight, so it all just wiggles down there like a drunk man. Who needs I mean, the man who was drunken decided to mark out that fucking road, I guess. It's a public sector for you. Am I right? Those hard-working assholes. Enjoying a drink. How dare they? Don't you know I pay their wages? They shouldn't be allowed to enjoy themselves at all. Anytime. Fuck them. Anyway, so we are... Right, what, am I, what is my plan? Do I have a plan? <laughs> I mean, that would be a unique experience. Uh, Pringles, let's... Okay, I'm going to bring you down here. I want to take... S right, we've got a couple of armies here to deal with. So, I'm assuming none of them have, like, six Dreadquakes. They've got one Dreadquake. No, they've got an Iron Demon. Okay, as long as it's not a Dreadquake, that's fine. So, I need to basically mob them. What can you have? I mean, you're more of a melee... Uh, not melee guy. Uh, uh, good. Artillery guy. Okay, I'm going to get longer weapons. I mean, you're a spider... So, that that's not how spiders work. You, you're, not, you're not going to go up to Queenie and say, Oh, d d don't worry, Queenie, I've, I've made a, a long spear for you. And then hold it out to the giant spider as the giant spider then, well, probably eats you, to be honest. It's a, it's a fucking spider. What, what, what were you expecting to happen? You're not arming a spider, are you? That's insane. Uh, right, I'm going to give this. How much longer shall we resist giving the clavers on it? Oh, more. God, it's my chill out. Fuck me. Right, I'm going to give you that one, all right? It agrees. There we go. All right, there we go. It's all Why good. It's all fine. You, you're ticked, so I don't need to worry about you. Durthu, I've managed to rough him up a little bit, but he'll replenish almost immediately. And I'm not going to upgrade you because there is an angry dwarf standing right, mm, right outside. So, 
some pit may get sacked. I don't know why Thoric is up here, to be honest. Welcome, stranger. Start talking. Ikit, what's up, mate? You want defensive alliance? I am down with that. Yeah, sure. Uh, it says Valiant Defeat. Um, the only problem is I don't know how we're going to deal with Thoric because he's an absolute fucking monster. So, just, I, I, I probably, I could potentially win it, but... <laughs> It really, it really irks me, and I know I keep saying this, it really irks me the way you have to hunt down the AI for a fight. They will, they will crawl across broken glass to desperately not fight you. That's, that's just how they roll. They will, and they will suicide their armies as well, just to sack you. Like, it's not like they have an actual plan. They're not, they're not actually doing anything. They, they don't scar stick. We, we know they don't have a plan. The only question is... Oh no, there's... Astragoth is there. Which is fine. We can... Why can you move so much fucking further? It's a bit weird. Oh, is it because you don't have a war? What the fuck is it with the war? And steaming. What the f what the f what the f what 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 what? Is is it because they don't get bonuses to their movement? Is that the problem? I I I, I don't understand. And if so, just give them the same fucking movement bonus as the fucking main army. Honest, honestly, 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 I, I swear, I swear, I swear to God. So it's a fucking Mork. Right, okay, we're going to go and attack these guys because Astrogoth is here. It's probably going to sting. At least I don't have any Dreadquakes. It's something. Is it an open field battle? It is not. It is a settlement battle. At least it's not walled, I guess. It's not walled. No, okay, fine. Fine. I mean, it's not ideal, but fine. So we're going to give Mork's War Banner to you. Yes? Yes. Okay. We'll go with that. I'm real sneaky. Me. Because I'm attacking from the rear with all my hidden units. Meanwhile, the fronts... Oh, rocks, rocks. Careful of the rocks. We have... Uh, the Squig Hopper's moving over to this flank because I've noticed their artillery seems to be almost completely undefended. The only thing there is this unit of Hobgoblin archers. So we can sort of roll through that, take out the artillery, and hopefully that will remove that as a potential threat. Kaboom! Nope, we're fine. Good. Reinforcements are on the way in about 12 seconds. Also, this is really good because it's uh, really taking out some of their... The, AO the, the plentiful AoEs that the dwarves have available to them. And fuck me, don't they have a lot of fucking AoEs. Not to mention that spell, which is complete fucking bullshit. The amount of damage that thing puts out is insane. Okay, we are murdering the crew. Dodging yet more fucking... Oh, so many fucking abilities! And so many AoEs. Alright, where the fuck? What the? F where are the fuck of this crew gone? How? What the? We're pushing this hell cannon all over the fucking place. Have they? Have? I've, just a thought here, but have they? Has anyone tested to see if the um the hell cannon have they fucked the the weight on that? Because that was getting. Sh like, my squig hoppers do not have that much mass. And that hell cannon's being punted all over the place. Anyway, the squig hoppers now have to get the hell out of dodge because uh, the chaos doors have reacted quite angrily to us killing their artillery. 
Reinforcements have arrived, though. Here the boys are. And the square... Oh, no, this is the other units from Scar 6 Army that couldn't stay hidden, such as the Iron Guts, Sly, Golden Wonder, Graham, of course, can't stay hidden. And uh, Scar Stick and his boys are currently making their way up to the rear. The idea is we're going to try and engage them from the front and then move in our boys. So now pushing into the city on all sides. This or Claverers. Ah, no problem. Unfortunately, the unit being left here is the Iron Demon, which is not particularly great for our Night Goblins to deal with, although we do have 56. Oh no! Oh, this is gonna sting! Oh, fuck me! Yes, that's half a unit of Goblins dead already. And also an Iron Demon, not to mention that the uh, the Squig Hoppers, uh, not Squig Hoppers, the Fanatics don't work on this particular part of the battlefield for some reason. They just despawn, so that's fun. So I can't even use them. The Iron Demon is actually going down pretty quickly. We did hit it with a lot of stuff. It doesn't have much delete. Oh, no. Ow. What the fuck is that? What is that ability? Is it a spell? I don't think so. I think it's like a... Oh, is it this? Is it Flame and Shadow? He doesn't have any of those left, right? Good. Okay. Meanwhile, the Nasty Skulkers have come down to engage in the centre here, but it does feel like the Chaos Doors are suddenly... They're just throwing everything against Scarstick. They've, they've kind of not bothered trying to hold the front. I mean, they've thrown some units there, but we are carving our way through them. Meanwhile, on the other side of the battlefield, yet again, there's, there's not much here. They're throwing everything they've got to try and stop Skarsnik, which is weird. I mean, I know he's almost taken the city centre bit, but still, it's... Um, hmm, anyway, our goblins are getting fucked. Basically, they're getting absolutely annihilated. The Iron Demon is racking up the kills... Fortunately, engaged in melee combat, um, otherwise we'd be in a lot of trouble. We're sending in some more goblins in, because uh, we're, we're pulling goblins out and sending more goblins in to replace the the ones that have been jamified. My demon is uh, getting the hell out of dodge, which is... Ow! Son of a bitch! Where the fuck did that come from? Uh, maybe the garrison commander has one as well? Fuck knows. Be not impossible to find out which unit is the garrison commander. Okay, we've broken through. Squig Hopper's moving in to help here. We we'll grab this objective. We've, we've almost grabbed all of the objectives, to be honest. So that's good. But Skarstick is really struggling here. Most of his goblins have been liquefied. And Astrogoth is continuing to be a massive pain in the arse. Oh, someone please kill the train. Where is the fucking train? There he is. Oh my god, so... So much fucking damage. Oh, I've lost so many goblins. Oh, the goblanity. All the fucking AoEs as well. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this anymore. Come on, goblins. Right, meanwhile, Sly is pushing up with all of his lads. They've left no one to stop this. There's nothing. They've, they've just thrown everything at Skarsnick. Everything they've got. We need to rush down. Oh my god, not another AO. Fuck off. Where did that come from? Oh my god. What the fuck? You've only... What the fuck was that? Where the fuck did that come from? Oh, finally they're broken. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'd be amazed if we didn't lose any goblins there. I mean, units of goblins. Obviously, we lost goblins there. We lost a shit ton of goblins. Oh, God.
God, Chaos Doors have got so many fucking AoEs. Oh, so many fucking AoEs. Jesus Christ. Um, also, why is his trait so fucking specific? Where is his trait? It's like the... Uh, Astragon. So, it's effect duration and effect range for, like, four specific types of spells. We do have death, but only because the, the hag... And it's, it, it's not... It's, it's only that lord. So there's only a subset of lords who will have those subset of spells. It seems very weirdly specific, doesn't it, that trait? Just weird. Anyway. Anyway. God, fucking... Fucking... Fucking Chaos Dwarves. I've had my fill of Chaos Dwarves. I don't want to fight them anymore. I've had it. I've had it up to here with them. Uh, the biggest what? What does that do? Mm, reputation plus five a turn. Okay. Oh, let's get the enormous lot. Lo the the enormous loot cart. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. So we're gonna get smash them faster for you. And cheesy what's it is tick, so I don't need to worry about you. You know what would be nice if if it was ticked, it just didn't it didn't show up. I don't want to see it. Okay, Durthu has run away. Nope, going to what you got? Fifty one percent chance, seven percent chance of being wounded. Good lad. If I I don't really want to take this, what I want to do? What the fuck is Ikit doing here? Right, we'll just bop it. We'll sack it. Because I'm not super invested in... Why am I taking attrition? In undead areas. Uh? Oh, doesn't matter. I've got a... I've got a raiding camp. Fuck you. Fuck you! You can actually reach me. Will you bother? You might do. You might bother. Uh, let's go reinforce. Yeah, in fact, everyone gets reinforced weapons. You get a reinforced weapon, and you get a reinforced weapon. Okay, let's give you that one. What? What? What do you do? I don't have any weapons. Uh, what if we try and merge? So, yep, yeah, sure. I'll have Master Moon's Pride. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. A talisman of it. I mean, you're just getting everything you need, aren't you? Uh. No, or, or not that. But, but, but this guy, Forbidden Rod. Very nice. Tell you what, you can have a Forbidden Rod as well. Everyone, everyone loves a Forbidden Rod. Getting your hands on a Forbidden Rod. It's one of life's great pleasures, isn't it? Okay. okay. Looking good. Looking good. What do we want to do here? I'm going, you know what, I'm going to give you a thing because... I don't know, reasons. My... My whims. Okay, Kettle, you're coming down this way because I feel like Zarnagrund is pretty fucking safe. We've got Zarnagrund, we've locked that down, we're now, we're now expanding in all directions. Okay, at least you're not Astrogoth, that's something. Because that fucker is a massive pain in the ass. Okay, if we hibbity hop here, we've now got these fuckers surrounded. Oh, you're all gonna die, you bastards! Racknick, do you what? What do you, what do you have? Okay, you've got some goblins. Um, all right, guess get the gobos then. Silver pinnacle. So we, they've got one army currently just dicking about. Oh, where is... Where are you? Was I... I chased you this turn, didn't I? Okay, what do you have? You've got a lot of boys. The boys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, you little shit. I mean, you've got nothing left. You, you suicided your army. 
to attack Karakazul. Why? What? What? I mean, you you got some money, I assume. Did you get any uh, battle of settlement sacked? So you got seven thousand seven hundred. I mean, it's not it's not a small payday. But in doing that, you basically murdered your entire army, and now you're dead. Because what 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 are you what are you doing? What's the plan here? This, this this is my problem. It's that the AI doesn't actually have any idea what it's doing. It's it's just lashing out in, in directions. It, it really needs like an overarching plan. It needs to think, what are my objectives and how am I going to achieve those? Because at the moment, the objective is, I'm just going to attack the player no matter where he is. And the way I'm going to achieve that is by avoiding him as much as possible. Or her. Or them. Good. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. What was the point? What was the point? Why? What were you? What? 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 I, I would love to know what the, the AI's, like, um, priorities were. Because there was a really interesting video they did about the AI of Total War and how it works on, like, a priority list, right? So it's it's trying to work out what it needs to do any particular time. And I, I, whenever it does stuff like that, I'm always thinking, like, what the fuck were you thinking? Like, what was high up on your priority list? Was it attack a settlement, attack the player settlement, attack the nearest undefended player settlement, and also, oh, avoid that army because it's scary? This is why I spend most of my... I mean, I'm surprised it didn't attack some pit, to be honest, but I'm assuming that's because that was a better target and knew it could win. I mean, I, I could have fought it, but to be honest, I, I feel like it was going to be one of those battles where it was fine right up until um, Thoric was basically unkillable. Um, right. I have to be careful here because that is a reasonably nasty army. Can we can't reach you? I can't reach you. Tell you what we can do. We can just like march into your into your lands. Just just do some general raiding. Sort of close close in on you from all sides. So we'll, we'll take Silver Pinnacle. Kettle's going to rush over the desolation of Drakenmoor, and Queek is somehow still alive. What I kind of want to do is... Oh, you've, you've taken that. Good lad. Good fucking lad. Good job. I forgot we were at war with the vampires. I like, completely forgot that. Hmm, okay. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit one now. Hmm. No, you didn't attack me. You kind of ran away, didn't you? So. I'm gonna hippity hop over here. With any luck, that'll let me cross the river and take Schwartz half a next turn. Um, I could potentially, like, do with another army. I think I'm going to go orcs down here. Well, do we want to go? No, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go... Uh, campaign movement range, cunning, ambush, gets has chance. Right, Grutter backstab. Uh, nastier squigs, because you're getting squigs. Hop in there. Hop in there. Right, where's the... Where are my fucking squigs? There, there we are. Where's my squigs? Where is my squigs? There we are. Right, global. Right, one, two, three, four. We'll get four of them. We want night goblins. We, we can't get night goblins with fanatics here. We're going to have to global recruit again. Okay, we'll just we'll just roll with that for the moment. Draug, I just kind of want you to harass. You know what? Actually changed my mind. Come up here. Because there's a settlement with walls. We want those down. We want the garrison dead. We can take the Silver Pinnacle. That's not going to be a problem. Arog, can you hit that? Because if you can hit them, that would be great. I mean, they'll replenish almost immediately, but... Good job. I'm just going to tick you, because... That's fine. Waz Humper, uh, let's go with Foot of Gork for you. What do I want you to do? I don't really know. We're going to get another army. 
The problem with goblins, and I fucking love goblins, is they are very fucking squishy. Like they're just they're just ludicrously squishy. I guess we get the defenses up here. Like we we are a little bit open to potential vampire attack here. But I haven't seen them. So I don't know what they're doing. What are they doing? Zanagrun's getting defenses, we're upgrading you. Let's go with more growth, upgrade that one. Lovely. Over here, we are going with defenses. We're going with more money. Because, you know, I could always use more cash. Cold hard cash. And we can get the Dork's Rock, which is some good. What does that do? Diplomatic relations with green skins, more control. Global recruit capacity. I mean, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we'll grab something like that just to help us. Blasted Expanse, we'll upgrade you. Uh, let's go with the Goblin Big Boss thingy-majig just to try and offset some of that public order problems. And we are going to go with more control and growth here for no particular reason. And I am going to build one in Skaven Blight because that just makes the most sense. Also, why the f fuck have you got nothing here? You've got loads of stuff here. Why can I only recruit like Skaven slaves and shit? Bloody your kit. Yeah, yeah, just get to the point. Um, non-aggression. Yeah, go on. I'm I'm never gonna find you at this rate. You're worse than Carmen San Diego. Fertility rights. Um I don't think that's how orcs work. So... You know what? I'm not going to question it. I don't think there's any point. Okay, we're going to cross into here. We're going to do some, some general sort of raiding. Just, just harass the undead, basically. Just make their life worse. Why did you get away? There was like two armies there. You're shitting me. You just you. You scarpered you big shit. All right, no problem. We're going to bop this. Thank you very much. I will occupy that one. Lovely, lovely gem mine there. Thank you. And then. You want to be a knob? I've got you surrounded. Where you going now, dickhead? Okay, we'll bop you. Uh, I'll go ahead to the teeth for no particular reason. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna clean this up. No more chaos dwarves. Do you? How's how's this going? Okay, it's um. Good. I'm going to be friends with you. Don't worry. The Chaos Dolls will be dead very soon. And then you won't have to worry about the fact that I'm at war with them, will you? You can just, uh... You can just... Am I... Wait, am I at war with these guys? When the fuck did that happen? Uh... Huh. Okay. I don't really want to lose this now. Do we have defences at Shatterstone Bay? Mm, no. Let's build defences at Shatterstone Bay. <laughs> it's probably a good idea, right? What would be good again? Do you have death globes? Asking for a friend. No, no death globes. All right, never mind. I'll just take some poison wing globes then. Uh, what is going to be good against like? I guess the Gorges might be a good show. That's why it doesn't have anything. Okay, I'm going to go with... Uh, oh, I guess those guys. Wait, do, do I just want more? I, I probably just want more Poison Wing Globes, right? Let's think about this objectively. What do we want? Poison Wing Globes. When do we want them? Now. Um, I think those guys might be good. I'm trying to think of anything that's going to be... I mean, Fanatics would be great against Zombles, right? 
I mean, that's basically an army in, in one turn. That's kind of bullshit, but... Let's go to Gobbos. Okay, you can't reach us in one turn, which is fine. That is a lot of shit, though. That is a lot of shit aimed at us. Why are we at war with these guys? When did that happen? Was that recent? Did I notice? Did I, was I not paying attention? I probably wasn't paying attention. I often don't pay attention to things. E right. I think if we... Right. I think what we need to do here is we need to... We need to strongly consider killing... What's his face? Um, what is going to be good against... Let's get some spiky rollers. Everyone likes spiky rollers. I mean, it feels like Thoric only has me to fight now. He's, he's not particularly bothered. But that's fine. We can, we can kill this guy. We're at 56 of 75. That's a good, that's a good number. That is a good number. Does anyone want to stab? Uh, tell you what, you could come down here. I think Kettle might actually have to have to rush southward to help out with uh, the Gorse. I should have killed Gorse when I... Why didn't I kill Gorse? Why didn't someone tell me to kill Gorse? This, I, I blame everyone but myself. Don't tell me you got away. How the fuck did you get away? Well, you can run, but you can't hide. I mean, that's technically not true. You definitely can hide. Okay, these guys are pretty fucked, which is great. We're gonna kill you before you can recruit anything too nasty. Or until you become Astrogot. It kind of feels, sometimes it feels like the, the, you know, you know Agent Smith when he, in the Matrix, when he like morphs into someone else? Kind of feels like that sometimes. You've killed a legendary lord and you're chasing another lord and then suddenly he just morphs into the lord he just killed. Ah, Mr. Skarsnick, welcome back. We've missed you. Let's get they need stabbing for no particular reason. Okay. We can we can do that. Any vampire Oh shit, son! Yep, yeah, there's vampires there. <laughs> Holy fuck! No. You <laughs> Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. I did wonder, will will they will they rush an army to the defense? And the answer is um yeah, yeah, no, they will. They will. There's de <laughs> Definitely some some choices being made there. Fantastic stuff, right? Uh, don't suppose you got lightning strike, do you? No. I mean, most of this army is trash. It's probably probably a bad idea to try picking on them. Holy shit! You can re go miles. Okay, I'm going to hop back here. I was hoping they might actually intercept me, because then it, it's basically like lightning striking, because they just take a huge amount of damage. Basically, well, what it means is that would just one army would attack me, I could kill it, and then I'd be on the other side of the river, but I guess they didn't want to... Uh, didn't want to pick a fight. The little shits. Never mind. All right, we're going to go and beat up... I'm really sorry, Queek. I know we were friends once, but unfortunately, I need you dead for my victory condition, and uh, you are willfully not just dropping dead of your own accord. What a bastard. So we're going to have to do it for you, but that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.